So, how are we going to go about it? If we're going to tell the world the truth, then we need to know what we're doing. Y yes, yes, I know. Oh, Roy, don't tell me you've changed your mind. You were all for it last night. I, I thought you were against it, though. Well, I was, but I got thinking in the night and I decided you were right. Y yes, and I've been thinking about it too, and I I'm not so sure anymore. <sighs> I mean, well, stooping to her level, it's, it's so cheap and demeaning. Well, I'd rather be a cheap winner than a proud loser. Will we win, though? Well, we don't know till we try. We'd give her a damn good run for her money, I know that. And we'd make sure world new tricks she's played on us and all. Look, uh, foolish. Well, we're fools for love, Roy. There's nothing shameful in that. Whereas she's had the morals of a vulture from start to finish. Yeah, well, that's, that's true. We mustn't worry about how we'll look. Do we want patience back? That's all that matters. Well, yes, of course. Well, this is the only route open to us. Well, it'll mean your past being dragged up in public if this goes to court. Well, I don't care about that, nor should you. Yes, of course. I, mean, I shouldn't weaken. Where, where do we start? Mm. Well, I could go and see Mr Pomfrey, get some legal advice. Yeah, that, that's a good idea. We'll know exactly where we stand. I'll go and see him this morning. From now on, the gloves are off. What time are you going to the bank? As soon as I'm ready. I want to pay him back as quick as I can. And how much do you owe them? Just short of 25 grand. And how much have you got? About 17. Oh, they're not going to like that. Well, I don't know, maybe I could borrow the rest. Well, you could offer to pay them in instalments. What, do you think they'd buy that? Well, worth a try. I mean, that's what would happen if you borrowed it. You might be able to get it interest-free from the croppers, Aww. if you ask nicely. What chance of that? If the worst came to the worst, I might be able to help out a bit. Oh, I want you to do that, Gran. I mean, you've just spent enough already, haven't you? What on the house and the baby and that? Well, see how you get on with them first. And then I'm going to go to the registry office and see about having the name changed. I think you're doing the right thing. Oh, it's a lovely name, is Amy. I mean, it's got character and warmth. Patience always sounded chilly to me. Well, it's a bit virtuous, isn't it? A bit croppery. <laughs> How sweet. Mother and baby. Do you mind? I'm in a hurry. Oh, sorry. You're not used to people standing in your way, are you? I don't need this. Well, you're going to get it. You might walk all over some people, but you won't do that with me. If you wake her up, Liz. Oh, such concern. Who'd have thought that you once wanted rid of her and then sold her to somebody else after all you've done? Now it's little misrespectable all of a sudden, is it? Well, it won't wash with me. She's your granddaughter, in case you've forgotten it. Oh, no. It's you who better not forget that. You put one foot wrong with her, and you'll have me to answer to. I'm going to be watching you, madam, every step of the way. Hi. Oh, did you see him? He's on holiday. What, February? He's gone to Canaries. Oh. When will he be back? Two weeks. Well, did you see somebody else? Well, apparently he's the expert in this field. I didn't see it pointing, giving all gory details to a complete stranger, just so they could say they couldn't really help us at the end of it. I suppose. Yeah. And pay for it privilege. Frustrating, though. Very. So, the best I could do was just book us in for an appointment as soon as he gets back. Still, it, it give us a chance to, to think through our position, though. Just when we were all geared up, though, I could spit. So how did you get her? Not good. Why? What happened? Oh, she's still asleep. I'll leave her. We well, did only have 17 grand in the bank. Well, you knew that, didn't you? Yeah, well, I was hoping there might be a bit of interest, a couple of hundred, when it was due. So, did you draw it out? Yeah, I got a cheque, but then I went to the registry office. And? This is going to be a complete nightmare. Why? Getting the baby's birth certificate changed once she's been registered. You've got a right to some bloke in Southport, like Registrar General or something. And then they've got to make Steve have a DNA test to prove he's a father. No. Yeah, and even then they can't force him. But that'll take forever. But you can change the baby's name. No, that's going to be a palaver and all. You've got to do it by that deed poll. What? All this? Because creepy cropper got there before you? But if he takes his name off the certificate... He's not going to do that, is he? He might, if I have a go at him. Oh, no, there's no point upsetting him more than we have. I'll handle it. I'm even surprised he could sign his name. A subnormal like him. Oh, no, he knew what he was doing all right. He has messed me up something good him. Hi, Liz. 
Not very pleasant, all this, is it? What did you expect? Look, I know Tracy's done some terrible things, but she's my daughter. I have to stand by her. I'd use stronger language to describe what she's done. Slagging off our kids isn't going to get us anywhere, is it, like we did at the wedding? I don't suppose it will, no. Well, I, for one, want to apologise for what I said about Steve. Big of you. I'm really trying here, Liz. Just give a bit on your side as well, will you? But you've got a lot more to make up for, haven't you? As long as you're giving Tracy your support. <laughs> She's the cause of all this, and everybody round here knows that. Can't we just forget about the rights and wrongs of it? You and me, I've got a friendship that goes back years. We've seen each other through all sorts. And we've got a granddaughter in common. Should be bringing us closer together, not moving us further apart. I'm afraid that's not going to happen, Deirdre. Oh, I wish it could. After what Tracy did to Steve and Karen. I just think it's best if we avoid each other. Well, like I said, there's no rush to get back across the road. Right. Thank you. Sometimes, though, it's best to be at work. I mean, I went through murder with Barlow over Adam and... Well, some days the only thing that kept me sane was rollicking that rabble. Yeah, but, but you won, though, didn't you? Custody of Adam. Well, nobody won. Yeah, but, but you were the father, though, and the courts ruled in your favour. No-one was disputing that Mr Baldwin was the father, Roy. It was cut and dried. I don't know about that. No, uh, I went through murder with Barlow. Very persistent, that lot. Oh, indeed. <laughs> Try and get myself sorted. Tell you this, sir. You're not doing yourselves any good. Keep going over it and over it. Yes, well, thank you for your trouble. Yeah, well, I mean, it's water under the bridge. Just let it, let it go. It's not a social call. What's the baby? I'm alone with a box of matches. <laughs> not beyond the realms. How is she? It's payback time. 17 grand, I'll pay the rest in instalments. Well, you might change your mind once the novelty's worn off. Keep clutching at them straws, Hayley. Are you going to take this or what? Well, you better cash it or else I'll take it out in copper and I'll shove it through your letterbox. How is Patience? At home with a great-grandmother, you know, flesh and blood. Is she sleeping all right? Yeah. Drinking all the formula? You better cash that within a week. We miss our daughter. The penny never drops, does it? She's mine. Mine and Steve's. I wonder how his honeymoon's going. I could give her flying fruit. We would like some access to Patience. Dad's. How does a wave across the street sound? Wholly inadequate. Which is why we're putting legal wheels in motion. Does the phrase cat in hells mean out to you? I think you'd better call. Yeah. Amy will be wanting a bottle. Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell you I'm changing a name by Depot. Shall I tell Amy you love her? <sighs> How's your head? Still banging. You've been ages. Ah. Uh, Things to see to. I bumped into Liz MacDonald. No, we really should try and eat something. And? Oh, she says that she doesn't know how Steve will get his head around seeing patients grow up yards away. Does she think we'll like it any better? Amy. You mean Amy? I mean patients. She's convinced they want access. Says he's kidding himself that he can carry on as normal. She's right. At least we know our lives are ruined. We need to regroup, Hayley. Take a breather. Change the scenery. It won't change anything, Roy. Right? It'll all be here when we get back. We should take a break. Vera's agreed to hold the fort for a few days. Where would we go? Well, I thought that, that B&B at Whitby. The sea can be very restorative. Hey, do you remember that sound in the back, Rotten? I'm afraid I don't, know. Piccadilly Station, please. Hey, Rotten it was, you old fella. Our train leaves in 23 minutes. Yeah, no problem. Hey, me and Trace has to get, get him out the back. Totally out of the game he was. Amy. 
<laughs> Why not Blanche or even Deirdre? Because it'd be even more cruel than calling a tracer. Oh, well, have you know it was all the rage in 77. Oh, yeah, and so were Curly Perms. Uh, Kevin Keegan, yeah. Who? Oh, no. <laughs> Amy's a lovely name, isn't it? Precious. Yes, it is. I thought a walk around the block would settle her. Oh, do you mind if I tag along? No. I'll ship you one. Oh. 